In this video, I'm going to show you which are the best web hosting providers for your small business. I will provide you with my top five hosting providers that I think you should really consider after I've tested out almost 20 different ones. I'm not going to waste your time here by listing all the bad hosting providers and then confusing you with all the technical jargon that most people don't understand. But instead, I'm going to provide you value by showing you the facts that actually matter. For example, the page load speed and the website uptime statistics. I want to be transparent with you and say that I spent my own money buying all these hosting accounts to test out so I can provide you with high quality and unbiased reviews and test results. And to make this test fair, I made sure to install the same starter website, theme and plugins on all my hosting accounts. Now the categories that I'll base my comparison on are pricing, setup and ease of use, speed and uptime performance, support and recommendation who I would actually recommend this hosting provider to. I'll have a special bonus for you if you decide to pick up any of these web hosting plans through my special discounted link in the description below. I also have a free checklist on starting a successful blog for everyone. So make sure to stick with me to the end of this video and I'll show you how to get access to this bonus. I also just wanted to mention that these affiliate links below will have exclusive discount which make these hosting plans lower than the normal price. So make sure to check these out if you want to get the best price for your chosen hosting provider. Now let's get straight into this video. The first hosting provider on my list is Hostinger. This is my recommended hosting provider if you're a small business with a tight budget but still want great hosting. Hostinger has great prices starting at just 99 cents per month. Their next two higher plans are also really cheap for the features you get. Like they increase to host up to 100 websites free domain name, and free unlimited email accounts. And lastly, a worthy feature which Hostinger provides on their highest plan is the free automated daily backups. Many companies don't provide this feature for free, especially the cheaper ones. They try to upsell you on this, but hosting is very good and are giving it away upfront for free. Now with the setup and ease of use, Hostinger has its own custom user interface called HPanel, compared to the standard cPanel you normally see from many hosting providers. I find it designed to be cleaner and easier to navigate than the standard cPanel and it was also fairly easy to install WordPress and SSL certificate on there. As you can see here, installing your WordPress website with a HPanel is very simple. With just a few clicks and just a couple of minutes, your website is up and running. Just one negative to point out here is that some of the menu items can take a while to show up after clicking on it. But that's not a big deal for me as you would usually spend the majority of your time on the website's backend instead anyway. Another thing worth mentioning is that Hosting has 7 data centers around the world for you to host your website. This is very important for your small business as you want a fast loading website for your visitors. And if you're outside of the United States, this won't be a problem with Hostinger. Next is the speed and uptime performance. I bought my own hosting plan from Hostinger to test out their performance. And from my speed test with GT metrics, hosting are loaded in three seconds flat, which is actually decent as they still pass Google's recommended site speed. And for the price you pay, I think it's really good. I also tested out hosting is uptime with uptime robot and they produce a 100% uptime over the 30 day period. In fact, they have no downtime for over 50 days in a row, which is amazing and makes them a very reliable hosting provider. Hosting it provides customer support through email and live chat, but just beware that their live chat is not 24 seven for new customers looking to ask sales questions. So you may need to email them for that instead. To be honest, I was a little bit disappointed about this, but I understand that they're saving costs and this is how they can provide you with such a cheap plan. But at least it is 24 seven for existing customers, which is what matters most. I tested hosting a support team by asking them three different questions and they overall did okay. They helped me fully install my SSL certificate and Cloudflare CDN. And they were also willing to go the extra mile and help me restore my malware infected website if needed. The only thing they did not do was remove the malware. Now from contacting them at three different times of the day, I timed their average customer support response time to be around 14 minutes, which was too slow for me and did not pass my minimum requirement of five minutes. Overall, they have good support, but you'll have to wait a little longer than normal. Now, you can see the score breakdown I gave hosting it for each of the criteria I tested them on here. And after averaging out all the scores and giving double points for the performance section, which I believe is the most important criteria, hosting had an overall average score of 8 out of 10, 
They are a really solid hosting company at a really cheap price. So if your small business is just getting started and you have a limited budget, then I think you can't go wrong by choosing Hostinger. SiteGround is the next hosting provider on my list. They have been well known in the industry for having amazing customer support. And from my live tests of judging their support team, they lived up to their reputation. And so SiteGround is my number one recommendation for you if you're a small business who needs a bit more handholding and value the customer support feature the most. SiteGround starts at $6.99 per month for the startup plan, which is quite high when compared to other budget hosting providers like Hostinger, which was 99 cents from above. Even though their startup plan is more expensive, SiteGround's Grow Big and Go Geek plans are much more competitive. So if you're looking to build more than one website and want faster speeds, then I believe SiteGround is still a very solid option to consider. Their two highest plans will include SiteGround's custom caching plugin called SG Optimizer, which will further increase your site speed and the number of visits allowed per month. A quick note is that all their plans include automatic daily backup for free, which is very important. And now even though SiteGround's plans are not the cheapest, they claim to give you a big speed boost with their custom caching plugin. But I have tested them out and I will show you the speed results shortly. Now in terms of setup and ease of use, SiteGround has their own custom user interface, which I also found to be one of the best and easiest to use. From their dashboard, it is really quick to create your own WordPress website. You just click on websites, then click on new websites and follow the simple steps on the screen here and you will be able to create your site. It's very simple. I also like how easy it is to install the SSL certificate as well. You can see here it is fairly different from cPanel, but it is still super easy. Another thing worth mentioning is that SiteGround has data centers in six different countries which you can host your website on. This is perfect for your small local business no matter where you are located in the world. Next is the speed and uptime performance. From the GoGeek plan that I bought from SiteGround, their GT metric speed without SG Optimizer installed was 2.7 seconds, which isn't that fast and close to Google's three second limit. But when I installed the custom caching plugin, it boosted the website to just 1.9 seconds now, which is super fast. I then tested SiteGround's uptime performance and they had a perfect 100% uptime for 90 days straight, which is amazing. SiteGround turns out to be both lightning fast and reliable at the same time. SiteGround provides 24 seven customer support through email, live chat and phone call. So you can get in contact with them at any time of the day. I tested out SiteGround by asking them the same three questions once again and their support team installed everything I asked and gave me the malware report. They only missed out on removing the malware which was not part of their promise anyway. So I was really happy with their support here. Now the customer support average wait time from these three interactions was 1 minute and 20 seconds which means they have one of the fastest response time from any shared hosting providers I have tested. So as a small business, you can really rely on them to help fix your problems immediately at any time of the day. After adding up all the points from each section, SiteGround scored an overall average of 8.5 out of 10. They are a really solid hosting company with top-notch support. Now I've also made detailed individual reviews on all the hosting companies on my list today. So if you want more information on a particular hosting provider, then you can check it out by clicking on one of these links in the description below. Here's a quick question for you. What is the main criteria you use to pick your hosting provider? Is it price, support or speed? Let me know in the comments section below. The next hosting provider on my list is Green Gigs. I'm giving them the gold medal for being the best performer in terms of speed and uptime. If you want the fastest speed from a shared hosting provider while still performing well in other areas, then Green Geeks, I believe, is the best choice for your business. Green Geeks has great prices on all three of their plans. The light plan starts at just $2.49, which is really cheap. And their next two plan, which gets you unlimited websites and an increase in speed, is also very cheap. All their plans also come with free automatic nightly backup, which is very important, and they use light speed servers, which are meant to be super fast. And a bonus from Green Geeks is you will get a free domain name for your first year on any of their hosting plans. Green Geeks uses a simple cPanel user interface with a few added custom things like the SSL certificate. As you can see, installing the SSL certificate can be done on their custom dashboard if you find that easier than using cPanel, which is also possible for installing your SSL with Green Geeks. 
Next is the installation of your WordPress website. This one is done on cPanel the normal way. Simple, clean, but not that pretty. Green Geeks has three data centers in the United States, Canada, and Europe, which is not as many as some other hosting providers, but still good enough for diversification and is still useful for non-US businesses. In terms of the website speed, I installed a Lightspeed caching plugin, which will only work on Lightspeed servers and is more on the high end when compared to normal servers. So my GT metrics results shows that my site loaded in just 1.4 second, which makes them the fastest shared hosting provider on this list. Next is the uptime robot result. And this one was also a perfect 100% uptime and they kept this amazing streak going for 95 days in a row. Green Geeks provides 24 seven customer support through email, live chat and phone call. From the same three questions I asked Green Geeks, they answered them all really well. They were really knowledgeable and helpful. Their only letdown was their live chat support wait time. Their average time was 16 minutes, which is over my five minute limit. So that is the only downside that I have for their support team. Now, after adding up all the points, Green Geeks produced an overall score of 8.5 out of 10. You can see here, I'm only showing you the best performers from the almost 20 hosting providers I've tested. But if you want to see individual reviews for the rest of these hosting companies, then just go to my channel and check them all out. Now, the next hosting company, which I believe has the best user interface is DreamHost. I have to say they have the cleanest and easiest to navigate user interface overall. So if you want the best user experience while working on your site, then I think DreamHost will fit in well with your business. DreamHost has one of the cheapest and simplest pricing plans. They only have two, which are called the starter plan for $2.59 per month for one website and the unlimited plan for $4.95 per month for unlimited websites. All their plans also include free automatic daily backup and free domain name, which is a really solid offer for such cheap hosting plans. Their only downside is that they only have two server locations, which are both located in the United States. So they may not be a good fit for you if your business is located in another continent. DreamHost has the smoothest user interface, as I mentioned before. You can see how clean it looks. Installing WordPress is also super simple, as you can see here from my demo, where just a couple of clicks and your site is fully installed and up and running. And I'll prove it to you again by showing the SSL certificate installation. As you can see, I only had to click two buttons and that's it, all done. Now, in terms of website speed, DreamHost does not have any custom caching plugin that you can install, so I installed the free WP fastest cache plugin instead. I then ran the speed test on GT metrics and was able to achieve a 2.6 second page load speed, which isn't amazing, but it's still past Google's recommended site load speed of three seconds. Now in terms of uptime, DreamHost scored a perfect 100% uptime with a streak of almost two months straight with no downtime. DreamHost has 24 seven customer support through email. Their live chat is only during business hours, but you will still get a response to your email at any time of the day. They were one of the few support teams who were willing to remove the virus from my website as a one-time thing, which I was really pleasantly surprised with. However, I think they let themselves down by not providing 24 seven live chat support and also not installing the SSL certificate for me. They were only happy to guide me, but still wanted me to click on the buttons myself. Their average customer support response time was also a bit too slow at eight minutes, which was over my five minute limit. Now, after adding up all the points again for DreamHost, they scored eight out of 10. They are a really solid hosting company with an awesome user interface. And so if you're building a lot of sites for your business and you will access the backend a lot, then DreamHost is worth considering. Do you like the level of detail I'm providing you in my roundup review so far? If yes, Make sure to let me know by liking my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more quality content that I'll be releasing every week. The next hosting provider on my list is Kinsta. This is the best premium option on my list and would also be the best overall for your business if you have the budget. They are not your typical shared hosting provider, but instead they are more of a managed WordPress cloud hosting solution. So if you're not concerned with price and just want the best of the best, then Kinsta is the one for you as they were the top overall hosting provider from the list of almost 20 different companies I tested. Kinsta's cheapest plan starts at $30 per month on the starter plan, which is for one website and 25,000 visits per month. 
I think this is quite expensive, but it's justified by using Google's cloud platform to increase their performance and a top-notch customer support team to go along with that as well. Kinsta is a top-of-the-line host. They use their own CDN and have server-side caching, which means it is faster than using your normal WordPress caching plugins. They will also personally migrate your website over to them for free. They have the free automatic daily backups and also have free malware removal included on all their plans. You can see here, they pretty much have every feature available to you included in the price already. Kinsta has their own custom user interface, which I found to be one of the easiest and most comprehensive to use. Everything is laid out nicely and they don't confuse you with all the buttons and settings like other hosting providers do. Installing your WordPress website is also simple, as I show you a real life demo of it right here. Just a few clicks and you're up and running. The SSL certificate is also the same. A really easy few clicks will get that done for you as well. Kinsta has 24 server locations worldwide, which is the most out of any hosting providers. So no matter where you are in the world, I know Kinsta will have you covered here. Now for the website speed. My GT metrics results shows that my website with Kinsta loaded in just 1.1 seconds, which makes him the fastest host on this list here. Next is uptime robot results. And this one was also a perfect 100% uptime with 45 days straight of no downtime. I just want to say though, that not all companies I tested are this good. So don't think that they're all 100%. I only picked these best ones for you here, which shows those results. Kinsta provides 24 seven customer support through live chat and email. From the same questions that I asked Kinsta, they answered them all the best and fixed and installed everything I wanted. They were one of the only companies willing to remove malware from me for free. Kinsta really goes above and beyond for their customers here. Really well done. Now their average customer support wait time was only one minute and 30 seconds as well, which was incredible. So now after I've added up all the points for Kinsta, they scored an almost perfect 9.5 out of 10. They only lost half a point due to their higher price, but hey, everything else was pretty much perfect. So if you're not concerned about price, then Kinsta can't be beaten and will be the best choice for your business in my honest opinion. This is a quick note regarding my bonus offer to you. If you decide to get any of these web hosting plans through my link, then just send me your receipt to bonus at .com and I'll send you back access to my bonus course right away. And if you want to get access to my free checklist, then just go to this link in the description and you can get access from there. Now, I think picking the right hosting provider for your business is such a crucial step and you must get this right. So now that you have decided on a great hosting provider from this list here, you're now ready to go out and fully build your successful website. And this next video will help you do just that. So check that out and I'll see you over there.